and he won season a one. Dream act, and they won season one <laughs> along with that and their ex Peke the middle. Right, that was the that was the last day of last week's games. Okay, and then they grab Shaq in here. Oh my God, that was the uh... like doesn't quite land from Mercury Bot, but in the top lane, off a lot again. What is happening here? Expecte just trolling him right now. Finishes off another. This will maybe be able to use that. Maybe just Expecte engaging, and they're all dead. At least two of them are for now. For now, in there. Kevin's gonna try his best, and he gets him with his ultimate. Uses the Zonius, but the damage is just not there for him. And they're gonna kite him around. Double kill coming out for so. I also point out though, the gold right here. Actually, Mark Tech is gonna find diamond. He's gonna find him, is he gonna be able to catch on towards him? That claw of doom as he goes in, he will catch him down. He's gonna get a chain of corruption in no tell lies, not a chain of corruption, he has it in level six. I don't know what it was, but he's in around, he does get darker down. Can he lightning surge away from this off? Flashes out diamond though, flashes back in, does manage to catch on towards him. Speaking of the idler, Duran wasn't quite able to post it down there. Peke turns around, Alex it just drops like a stone. And now Diamond getting focused on Cyanide. He's gonna have Cocoon back available in a moment. He used it very early on. There it is, lands on towards Diamond, piercing arrow, not quite long enough to reach on towards him, the little spiders are going to do their work here, and they're just chomping down the heels. Roy, can you use his knowledge? There is the core of Doom and Glacial Tomb, and it is the tomb where Brother Lord now lies. <laughs> Not out of Doom, so it lands the cocoon. <laughs> He's on a roll. Jay Ree's going to go down. Mushu will pick up the kill on that one. Okay, finishes the job. Kreaton now is also taken low. Feel it be enough. You can see Pekka, he tries to get back in there. Pierce and Arrow comes up. He's not spotted yet. He could take x it out. It's going to throw out. There's going to glacial shot. Can he get enough damage down on towards him? The wall is available. Uses it to try and get a vision. One more shot comes out there. There it is. Oh, he gets the stun guard back on Froggen. And you can see Pekka. He's going to try and get away from this one. The bird is so slow moving. But Cyanide. Cyanide is closing the gap. He's coming towards Pekka. And another wild card lands. He could turn around. He doesn't want to chase this one through. And now you can see Cyanide's going to slide in. He gets him down. There's going to be the passive from Froggen. He is going to be an egg on the floor. Ooh, Pekka has gone a little bit deep here. Chow is going to get around the backside. Kubon's coming from the other side. He's going to get the Nimbus Strike and Cyclone on him. The exhaust was used. Is it going to be enough time to get that Destiny away? Will he get out of it? No, he, he does! Did. Just as the Equalizer came in, he managed to get away. They have to use everything to lock him up. Just the one player. That leaves open season. For the rest of the team, Equalizer comes in. It's dangerous to do Baron with an Equalizer available. They're going to get it, though. And that's Fnatic. They managed to steal the march on them. Sona Flare on Kubon. Is it going to be enough to slow him down? Yes, because the Flash Stone Guard will be followed by Piercing Arrow. And Peke picks up another kill. We do see a teleport coming out now from Piercing Arrow's flying. Mia Makers are going to have to do something. Destiny used. Where's Peke? Okay, going. He's going for the back door. Of course he is. Where else would Peke head towards? He's going to draw Meteor Maker's way. It's decision time, Meteor Makers. Do you defend the Baron or do you defend the Inhibitor? The Baron looks like he's going to be the goat ball. They missed it. They're too slow. Solo Vagon going to take that down. Would you believe it? All the advantages in towards Fnatic. Yeah, absolutely not. They didn't commit to one plan or the other. Now Makla is jumping onto Peke. Quicksilver Sash is up. However, both Inhibitors are down. Fnatic are going to be super happy with that. Absolutely. They might just be trying to go back in because the Baron is still on a couple people. And there's the TF off. Zoro Zero is going to get taken low. He gets dropped. He's on his own. That wasn't available. And that is going to be a double kill. We do see Dexter going down as well. Mithy's going to get locked up. That's another kill for Pepe. Like so. Actually turned out safe for that one. And Fnatic right now, they're going in from the side again. They're running on the mid lane. Can they catch on towards Pepe? The fear does go off, but he didn't quite catch him. There's going to be the crescendo. Is it going to be enough? Makata, he's got the res back available. Let's bounce on all of Fnatic. And look at this. Meal makers are collapsing on them. Yeah, that's not tries to flash away, but the shockwave beautifully done there from Peke. So well timed. And just like that, Mio Maker's melting. The perfect time, perfect position from Fnatic. They baited them towards them. And that is an absolute brilliant ace from Fnatic. They can just go straight. I'm in trouble now because there are a few guys coming in. There is Froggen coming out. Ultimate goes in there. And you're not escaping this one, Pushu, I'm afraid. But he's actually 
held in yellow beat there under the turret and Peke is going to come down for it. Will he have the damage here to finish off Frogan as well? There's the lockdown, but Frogan actually going to use up there. Uh, Zonya Snoop is coming in from the side, but he's a dead man. Double kill here for Peke, and they're not done. Cataclysm will drop down. Snoopy now the focus of attack. He's going to repel actually to the other side there, to the golems, but it's easier said than done to outrun a uh, Cassidy in here who's just going to stick to you constantly. You can do that all you like. Situation being able to push the turret down. You saw how fast it draws just one cube from Soas. Wow. <laughs> Pretty ridiculous there, is it, Crescendo? They're throwing everything at Xpeke. He's not dead, though. After all that, the man is still alive, and he's still somehow picked up a kill. Snoopy gonna chase down. There's the ultimate out of Pushu. They're driving away the tanks from this one. Wicked can't get involved. Pushu gets that kill. There is Peke just playing around with Snoopy in the jungle. On the back side, is he gonna go for it? No, he's not, but Alex is gonna go for it. There is a death mark down. Can they get the final shot? The Q not quite landing there from Diamond. He's going to take three big hits from the turret. Cyanide comes in, get the one kill, and what? Alex is going to go down as well. And talk about the lies are coming out for Alex. They're going to try and get in on towards this turret, and they may just do it. Well, you're going to see them fight you. Darian right underneath the turret. He's bouncing around, done good damage. But look at this. Peke's coming in from the side. There is the kill on towards one. Diamond, is he going to fall here? He's gone very, very low, but they change targets. Go towards Alex. He's going to get himself a double kill, but then falls afterwards. To Soaz, and Peke dives underneath the turret. Soaz gets the toy on towards Foidel. He is he gonna fall? Yes, he's gonna fall. Yellow Star gets that one, and Peke gets one at the back, and that will be another ace in damage that anyone that comes up to him, he's gonna be able to burst. Yeah, look at that. That's Darian. That's. I don't think he killed before that. He just gets a pretty low. There's the crescendo coming across, and Gambit are gonna get absolutely slaughtered there. Darian gets his passive brought down, but that's not gonna matter. That's finished off in seconds. And there is Peke chasing double kill. Alex gonna go to Peke. Peke actually gonna use the Zonyas. Did actually come out of it there before the death mark pop, but that won't matter. Triple kill. Genja actually went so, so low in that as well. Yellow Star has left Pushu alone here in the bottom. He's actually going to have to use his barrier and his flash to get behind the turret. Why not? He's going to dive in here. That's going to be a kill. He has to flash away, but here comes Xpeke. Is he going to get the finisher? Yes, he is. Pharrell Lord came down here as well. But look at the Yeti coming in from this one. Nunu is going to get at least one of them slowed down. That will be Pharrell Lord. Jay Ree's going to fall here. The ultimate from Peke coming up. And now they've got the possibility to finish Pharrell Lord as well. They will sustain in this lane. And right now, the jungler is in a fight right here. Cyanide could be in a lot of trouble as well. Deathmark goes down, but here comes Xpeke managing to charm up for Ellen Lord, and Cyanide is still walking away with this one. He had those double buffs on. As Xpeke gonna go aggressive, gets the kill down on towards Twisted Blade, and can he even pick up Zed? Soaz might be able to do this one as he comes rushing around the corner. He was Xpeke from the backside, and it will be a double kill for Xpeke. So I'll push you a play. They look like they've been on this Fnatic team a lot longer than a oh. single week, as Peke is gonna nuke down White Knight there, gets away with the lantern towards the wall. The tidal wave comes over the side, but Fnatic with that one hit on the right target for them before they go in. There's another charm and an arrow. That's going to be Nuke Nook surely going down. Safeguard comes up with Dexter. Dexter feeling the full effect though and just getting dropped. Nuke Nook has to run there. He's taken down. That's going to be a double. We see Peke taking down. Taps out both damage dealers for Lemon Dogs. There's nothing they can do about this defense now. And that and Zoro Zero needs to run. Zoro Zero does try to run away from this one, but the charm lands. That's surely going to be the death of him. He's going to see Peke come back in. Another ball that comes straight out there. And it's a clean Dexter oh. may well try and get away from this one. Can they package him out? We're going to see Peke using the Spirit Rift. Gets on the charm lands! Peke gets the kill! And holy crap, 242 CS for Peke. And a second kill on the pounds. He's starting to be a problem, I feel. Oh, Nuka completely got out! Peke burns him down again. Setting up the CG of right Oh, look at the charm! The charm lands on towards Mithy. Mithy gets your drop straight away. So as jumps in, let's bounce, gets popped. The rest of his team not really on the same way. Peke. With that new rabbit on death count, manages to win it now. The charm landed straight in there. DFG fires through. There's so much damage coming out. Yes, he's rushing right now. And he caught him for about the thousandth time. Dead again. So Peke, he could have gone across towards the mini. The numbers advantage. And now Peke, he's found on Tabs. But Tabs tries to turn this one around. Has to try and dodge out that charm. But the damage is just so strong from Peke. The barrier can't save him. To dash near someone. But that is an effectively uncontested inhibitor. We can't even get time.
Thank <laughs> you.